One of the victims killed in the protest, Officer Brent Thompson from the Dallas Area Rapid Transit Department, DART. He is the first DART officer killed in the line of duty. And joining us now live is the DART Chief of Police, James Spiller. And Chief Spiller, our condolences to you for your, the loss of your fellow officers and also thinking of the other DART officers who were injured. We understand that Officer Thompson was recently married. Please share more about this young man. That's correct. Uh, Officer Thompson recently remarried another officer within the department. They had only been married about two weeks. And uh, I just uh, visited with him about four days ago where I talked with him and I talked with him shortly after his, his marriage. Uh, he was a great officer doing those things that we expect of police officers and in this particular case what he was supposed to be doing uh, monitoring the protest uh, and as well as taking care of our customers at our transit center and our uh, west transfer center where the buses were coming in and this an unfortunate incident occurred doing his job doing his job can you tell us about the other dart officers that were injured how are they doing uh, they're doing great. As a matter of fact, uh, one just went into surgery uh, and she's recovering well. Uh, the other one is getting ready to go to surgery and one was released without having to do any surgery at all. Uh, I met with all three of those officers this morning as well as the uh, wife of Officer Thompson, our president and CEO, Mr. Gary Thompson, and Mr. Gary Thomas also met with all of the families and those injured officers. And uh, we've just received an outpouring of support uh, throughout the North Texas region, the state of Texas, throughout the United States to include, uh, as well as looking at Canada and from London, England, uh, from members of the police profession. Uh, you know, we, have, we still have our heads held high. Yes, sir. Uh, but we've taken a gut punch. Yes, indeed. And I'm, I'm glad that you feel that support and if it could be of some small comfort in any, any sort of way. What did your officers tell you how everything unfolded last night? What did uh, they tell you? One of them, yeah, one told me that they were just standing there monitoring the protest march and all of a sudden the shooting occurred. Uh, and one of the officers, they started back engaging, but there were Dallas, Dallas officers there also. So when we started engaging, they were engaging that suspect also. And I think what's important here is the way that the two departments interacted with each other. Uh, first and foremost, making sure, sure that the protesters were taken out of harm's way and then coming back to assist the injured officers and then engaging the suspect while they were assisting uh, the injured officers. Had it not been for that, uh, one of my officers told me that they think the casualties would have been far greater than what they were. So I am extremely thankful for the professionalism and the response of our officers as well as that of the Dallas Police Department. And sir, we've heard that consistently from many protesters echoing just what you said, that the officers, your officers in the Dallas Police Department, that they were there to protect the protesters. And um, they, they felt that and they knew that. And I also know, sir, um, the loss of your officers, those that were injured, but this impacts your entire department and DART. There are other people that are involved of course, with DART, and I know that you wanted to say something about them. A absolutely, we've, uh, we've communicated with them this morning as they were coming on duty. Those that were on duty last night, making sure they knew what was going on. Uh, the scene that was seen around the world with the officers standing at the hospital saluting. We had officers uh, there, as well as making sure we escorted the remains of Officer Brent Thompson, uh, to, its, uh, to the funeral home, as well as we have grief counselors available. We have uh, clinical personnel available to talk with all of our officers, to include family members, mm -hmm. because uh, it affects the family members that were not necessarily here, but the officers have to go home with them. So we make those services available to them also. That's good to know. Chief James Spiller, thank you very much for your time this morning and our thoughts and prayers are, are with you.